420 Things Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And today we have another AC Infinity product that we're going to bring you some data on. So, um, shout out to AC Infinity, their affiliate marketer. Um, you can buy this light, you can use my coupon code uh, 420 Things Grow at the time of this video, but always check the description because it changes from time to time. But if you use that code, you get 10% of a discount. I'll get a cut as an affiliate marketer and I can bring uh, more items to the channel uh, and help, and you guys can help support me by that. But regardless of any of that, if you already bought one and you're looking for information about this, this is the video for you because while I have an MQ610 Apogee light sensor here and I can tell you exactly what my PAR level is on my canopy at any time, not everybody has that tool. So what I'm gonna do here is I got it in my 4x4 or my 5x5 tent on a 4x4 tray. It is roughly on the edges of the 4x4, so it's fairly centered, it's not exact. So these are not exact, you know, in the in the in the back room, exact like some Shane from Micro stuff, okay? It's not that. This is a general idea for you to be able to go, hey, I want to hang my light at 24 inches. What is the par gonna be? And 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 again, you're gonna get a rough idea. So if this is 24 inches to this tray, and then the sensor sticks up about an inch. So in theory, it's 25, it's it's 23 inches. So if you use these numbers at 24, you'll be a little bit underneath these numbers. So take that with a grain of salt. We're gonna do both 24 inches. All right, so we got everything set up here. We got the quantum flux meter, the Apogee MQ610. We got the wattage meter here to go. And what I've done is I found the, the most center point. So if you can see here, I'm gonna go back to the wards, the back of the tent, it starts dropping off. Okay, so I come back here. 272 and then I go to the right it drops off and I go to the left it drops off right so this is the highest par rating in the center of the tent so we're going to do our measurements from here at 24 inches so this is level one all right so now what we're looking at the front and the front's 215 and when we go to the back you're going to see it's 179 well why is that well it's because the light is not perfectly centered in my tent so what we're going to do moving forward for the rest of the test we're going to take the front number and the left side of the tent number because those are the two highest ones and i would rather have the higher number and and you know go okay i need to go a little bit less than that in my tent than going too high and using the lower number over to the left side of the tent at level one at 24 inches all right back to the center level two here are the numbers front level two numbers left level two numbers let's go up to setting three this one jumps almost exactly a hundred um, and it went from 275 ish watts to 345 watts at the at the wall Three is 380, level three, 367. All right, here we go to setting number four. 598 PPFD, 426 watts. Level four, 452, 425 watts. Four is 480. Setting number five, incoming, just under 500 watts at five. Half the power of the EV10 at 1,000 watts. Imagine that. And the left at level five is 525 PPFD and 498 watts. Five, 55960. There's level six. 608. Six, 648. Level seven, 905, and at 657. Level seven is at. 681, seven, 730. Level eight at 24 inches is just over a thousand PPFD. Uh, that's what I usually shoot for in flower, a canopy of a thousand. If you don't have a light meter, if you set it at a 24 inches, set it to level eight, you should be pretty darn close to that thousand mark at the center of the light. Level eight. 764 and that's where we were a thousand in the middle so a thousand in the middle thousand nineteen in the middle 760 on the outside edge eight is eight eighteen fifteen seventeen eighteen so but anyways let's go up to level nine eleven 
just over 11 at 821 watts. Level 9, 835, 897. Now let's see the next jump from 9 to 10. Ooh, 9 to 10 jumps quite a bit. Gets up to the, just over the 1,000 watts. 1343 at 10. And level 10, where we were 13 and some change in the middle, we're 1,010 on the outside. 10, 1,080. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the measurements on four points of this four by four table. And you gotta take it with a grain of salt because like I said, this is not exact lab tested and this light is definitely closer to this front edge. That's why we're getting the higher readings up here. So yeah, pretty cool for the 24 inch mark. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. So if you uh, were thinking about getting one of these lights, head on over to acinfinity.com. Use the coupon code that's listed in the description or in the first comment. As of right now, it's 420 Things Grow, but it changes from time to time. Check that area out. Click the link on over and uh, get yourself a light. And the only thing that's left to do is like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Yeah.